Welcome back everybody, Jordan here. Couldn't sleep this morning, up at 5 a.m. Decided, you know what, today is the day that we clean up the entire Lego room because it's a disaster down here. Well, it's actually not too bad. But we've gotta clean up some stuff on the table here. We've gotta put some new table legs on those tables and check this out, this is pretty scary. Okay, so we all know that I have this little room right here. I used to store sets in here, and I still do store sets in here. <laughs> this is bad, check it out. Oh man, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's a disaster in here. So we're gonna have to clean up the Harry Potter room and see what's going on in there. And then in general, just sort of putts around the Lego room, place some sets on some shelves, sort some lego clean some stuff up maybe change some things in the city just sort of putts around and do some lego room maintenance i guess because it's pretty rough in here well not too bad but we're gonna start in the harry potter room right there oh yeah there's all these boxes right here that are full of pieces that we need to sort as well I guess the first thing we got to do is pull this cart out. This is Jose's organizing cart. We got this from Michael's, the craft store. It's actually really good for rolling around the Lego room and just sort of temporarily storing things away as we build. So like, you know, stuff that has to be used like the fence panels and uh, some Disney stuff and stuff for the farm various things I don't know <laughs> just just junk drawers I guess not really junk drawers but this is the zoo drawer for example we got to use these fence panels on the zoo and we have a bunch of animals and stuff in here that needs to be allocated to the train walls and to the zoo and everywhere so it's just various drawers that one's an arcade drawer and we need to get all this stuff Sorted, but that's not going to be today's doings. Today we're going to be having a look at what's in our Bricklink store, updating our Bricklink store, and also fixing this area, plus much more. The first thing I need to do actually involves these three sets here. These are promos from the Lego store. Pretty cool ones though. We got uh, Death Star 2 Battle, also Amelia Earhart in the vintage car, and we have to ship these out because we sold them on a Bricklink store, so goodbye. Box one packed, box two on the way. Just gotta print the shipping labels and off they go. So recently Peter sent me uh, these large mouse pads and I put one right here. I like it, it's nice. And we got some bigger ones that we'll put downstairs as well. There we go, perfect. No, we better get this table organized today but first I'm gonna take care of that room. Actually, I guess we'll start with the table. Here's the easiest way to sort Lego. I'll put these pieces in this bag and call it done. Just kidding, they're not sorted, but yeah, it's a temporary solution, I guess. I guess while I have these uh, tables cleared here, I may as well install these caster-like wheels here so that our tables become easier to roll. Glad that we finally have those and they're ready to be installed, so that's pretty cool. Gotta go get the drill. 6 a.m. drilling, perfect. There we go, that looks decent. Wheels on, mat on the table. Woohoo! So I actually just spent two hours going through my merch store and making new products and stuff like that. So that was fun. And I found a way to like reduce the shipping. I noticed that it was trying to charge individual shipping rates for each item. So I actually found a way to fix that why is there chicken right there that's weird okay so now it's time to start dealing with the mess here I don't know how many times I'm gonna hit my head on this thing but I just did it and I I've done it way too many times in the past <laughs> that is like a hobbit door uh, okay but I'm okay uh, but yeah now we've got all these parts here so I'm gonna bring these upstairs for Jose these are for our haunted manor three big ziploc bags yeah we have all these parts right here for the Santa Claus as well. So yeah, lots of parts. It's actually not as bad in there as I'm making it out to be. Check out this giant bag though. This is the Coliseum promotional bag. 
So when you bought a Lego Coliseum, you got this for free. Yeah, it's a giant bag. And in here, <laughs> what is that? I don't even know. It's just like a bunch of mini sets that I don't have displayed. Just in a bag. What in the world? That's I, I'm pretty sure that's a Indiana Jones set. I'm pretty sure. Then there's like just all sorts of weird stuff in here, you know? The stuff that you get like with battle packs and uh, the stuff that you get with speed champion sets and stuff like that. And then in here, there's just like a bunch of sets that like I don't have displayed. A bunch of mini Star Wars stuff. There's like a whole bunch like Ultra Agents. Ninja Turtles. Yeah, this stuff's just like not dealt with. I bought this stuff at a garage sale a long time ago. It's just been sitting here. However, I did pull all the minifigures out. What's in this green bag? What is this? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, I got a bunch of random stuff in this bag that I have no idea what to do with. It's just like a bunch of random Lego clutter. I guess we gotta like part it out because there's probably some good parts in all of these different sets, right? So yeah, there's my big bag of random sets. So I just pulled out all these poly bags right here. A lot of them are the extra poly bags. And I pulled them out of this cabinet here. Here we have like, I don't know, You're the Ox. There's Amelia Earhart. Black Friday, that's like from the Coliseums. Got this limited edition carrot house thing. The VIP brick. Uh, one of those Lego store promos. Charles Dickens, a vintage car. So not much actually. And then we've got this stuff over here which is in our investment hoard. We'll have a look at that in one moment. Which is, it's actually quite small right now. But yeah, we've got, I don't know, extra bags. I don't even know, I don't know why I have so many of these things. The ones that I really like are the ones with the, uh, the street lights. We'll have to see if we can do anything with all those extra poly bags there. Pretty sure, oh, that's just like park benches and stuff. Okay, we could probably use this for the city somewhere. Then it's just like little mini poly bags. Star Wars ones, Imperial shuttles, uh, Speed Champion ones, Friends ones, little Creator Christmas tree, that's pretty cool. I don't know why I have so many of those. Uh, what's that little Octan dude, that's pretty cool. Nice minifigure in there. City stuff, another one of those. Yeah, just like miscellaneous poly bags. Actually, this is quite small because like the amount of them here is quite small. Oh, this is cool. And the reason it's quite small is because I sell all this stuff on BrickLink. So yeah, all this stuff just, there's no sense in having all of this stuff built, right? And I sell all this stuff on BrickLink, just like you saw earlier. And actually, I should have a lot more than I do, but I've I've been pumping, I've been pumping it out there. It's all just been going, so. Yeah, I guess I better make sure that all this stuff is listed on my BrickLink store. So I'll probably leave it out today and do that as well. I should probably build this. It's actually a pretty cool little sneaker. And this too. And for sure this. Okay, so in here we've got some stuff. Sorry about the furnace noise, it's cold out. We got some party boats, three of them. Don't ask me why. We got a, a burrow. Gonna be using two of those to create our bigger burrow. And what is this Star Wars set? Oh, these are at, -AT walkers. So we got two at, -AT walkers. We got a Steamboat Willie, uh, Book of Monsters, uh, corner garage, nope, not corner garage, uh, downtown diner, uh, the three in one sets there, there's two of them, we've got some, uh, TIE Fighters, over here there's an Aston Martin and also a, uh, Harley Davidson, we've got some stuff that we got on sale at Walmart, I've got a Technic, um, Dom's Dodge Charger, Speed Champion set, some more Speed Champion sets in here. I don't know why I have this, but I do. Oh no, I just knocked over my Vesman Duel. No, oh, the box. And then uh, some Star Wars stuff in here, some more Speed Champions mini stuff, uh, some, I don't know, Mandalorian Brickhead, stuff like that. So this is sort of what we got going on, but wait, there's more. And those are actually located 
over there. We've got more stuff. We got two Tanum 4s. Also a Saturn V. Not bad. But we gotta peel that sticker off. Make sure it doesn't get any more damaged. A little bit of damage on the box. No! That's why they shouldn't use those stickers. <laughs> a little bit more damage. Corner garage. Yep. And then we've got five camper vans here that are all sort of damaged, but not bad. T1 camper vans retired. So that's all the stuff that I sort of have like just stored away for the future. Actually, I used to have a lot more than that, but I liquidated all of it at one point. At one point, this room was empty. And then over the last like six or eight months, I've sort of just been slowly accumulating a little bit more again. So in there we have our, you know, investment sets, quote unquote. And over here we have all of our stuff to build. Now I don't know if I want to move the Bricktober sets that we've been acquiring, or that we acquired, I guess, throughout the month of October from the build pile to the investment pile. What do you guys think? They're like the little fairground sets. I don't know. I don't know if I want to build those or store them away. Well, I gotta say, Buzz, that really wasn't that bad, was it? Yeah. The room's all cleaned up now. Perfect. I guess I'll put this back right there, because it's easy to move. <laughs> now I'll have to put that cart back too right here, and then this place will be impossible to get into again. Not really, though. Just kidding. I think I need to go get, like, two or three more sets of these shelves like this here so that we could put shelves along there or get some sort of sorting system for in here so we have more space or just get rid of all that stuff I guess that would be the solution okay this is gonna make a lot of you cringe probably wondering where all my Lego boxes are well here's the Titanic box and guess what we're gonna do with that today we're gonna recycle it and actually, same with the Home Alone box. Oh, that was loud. Bye-bye. It's not like I will or even can sell this thing anyway, right? Man, the people that pick up my recycling must be like, what is up with this guy with the Lego boxes? <laughs> Here's our little hoard drawer of Lego parts. Check this out. We have a specific drawer for stickers. Whoa, <laughs> crazy. And look no. who just woke up. No. No? No, don't. I've already done the whole shebang this morning and you guys just woke up. All right, well, I guess that part of our journey is done. <laughs> it's still a mess. Not really, though. Just move that bag, move the cart, you're good to go. Oh, yeah, now we have to deal with all this stuff. I guess the first thing we're going to place is Moon Man's telephone booth, which is the entrance to the Ministry of Magic. It's probably going to go somewhere around here, although that's the wrong minifigures for that placement. But we have to do our Diagon Alley facade, so we may as well wait to do that before placing it officially. But yeah, it looks good here in the, uh, or on Pop Culture Street. Then we'll bring these brickheads over to the brickhead display. I guess for now they'll be down here because we still need to build our other display units so that we can fit all of the animal ones condensed like these ones here. While I was over here, I actually placed the little mini T1 camper van beside the large T1 camper van. I love this little poly bag. It's awesome. Over here we have the Legend of the Ten Rings set. So we've got this ancient dragon here, also the vehicles. So the ancient dragon we plan to put, I think, in the uh, Ninjago area, and then the vehicles on Pop Culture Street. So many cool minifigures in this pile right here. Like, look at the uh, print detailing on all of them. Yeah, I like this chick's pre uh, print detailing. Really cool uh, minifigs. Yeah, we've got to place these in the LEGO City as well. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these extra accessories. Probably just part them out, to tell you the truth. Also, Jose wanted us to get this here for the minifigure. That minifigure is massive. Look at the hair. That's cool, though. That's uh, Trolls Poppy, right? Almost looks like a float. That could be in the Disney area. <laughs> it looks a little bit weird, but I'm down. So we placed the car and the two motorbikes right here on Pop Culture Street. 
So as we know, we're done the residential area. Next, we'll be working on the farm and the zoo and the beach and the Ninjago area. So we just put the ancient dragon right there. What a sweet set. I'm so happy that we got it. it looks good in the Ninjago area and definitely will look even better when we better integrate it in the future when we work on that area. Can you believe it? It's 10 a.m. It's up at five. Cleaned up the hoard room, redid all of my merchandise, shipped a couple Lego orders, placed all those sets. Wow, and the day is still young. Haven't even had a coffee yet. <laughs> I don't even, like, I never get up at five and start working. It feels good to get all of that stuff done before the day usually even starts. Well, usually I start working at like nine or 10. Look at all the stuff I already accomplished. And we're going to be going all day today because today's the members stream. It's Tuesday today. Uh, and today we uh, have the members meeting at 5. So I know for sure I'll be going till 7, bare minimum. But yeah, getting lots of stuff done. It's good. So I decided I better do a mid-morning edit here. Wow, we filmed a lot of clips already. And look what showed up. Ooh, it's my James Bond watch. I ordered a Samsung smartwatch. Let's get that thing out of there. Fancy, wow. So this thing is a smartwatch that is like a cell phone. It can take calls without your phone being around. So it's actually got like a SIM card embedded in it, which is pretty neat. It's gonna be awesome for when we're snowboarding. Ooh. So the big question is, is do I feel like James Bond? Pretty much. Parcels dropped, and now I'm looking for some groceries for Jose. She wants to get Rice Krispies to make Rice Krispie squares, and guess what? They're sold out. Check this out. This is actually a thing. There's Tim Hortons Timbits ice cream, birthday cake flavored, mocha flavored. There's also Chips Ahoy and Oreos. Yeah. Breakfast cereals galore, eh? I'm also here to get our favorite hot sauce. It's Valentina. Two for five, not bad. So Jose sent me here for Valentino, which we got Rice Krispies and Eggnog, but they're actually sold out of Rice Krispies and Eggnog. Wow, I simply can't believe it. Grocery store number two, also sold out of Rice Krispies. And they also don't have Eggnog as well. Nice. Well, there you go, everybody. It's the funny tale of searching for Rice Krispies and Eggnog. Failed miserably. <laughs> Back home we go. And look at Mrs. Sortsy go here for uh, the Haunted Manor. Mrs. Sortsy. Mrs. Sortsy. <laughs> She's sorting all our pieces. Those are the three freezer bags that you saw earlier. She seems to be going at a really good pace oh, though. Really yeah, it seems to, like once you get it down to a system and you got the right containers to sort, it's really easy. Look at Luna. Lounge and Luna. Yeah, that's good. Good job, Jose. I can't wait to build this thing. It's gonna be so cool. Uh, Jose, it looks like this is coffee from like Austin Powers or something. It has milk in it. It has milk in it, okay. Thanks for confirming. <laughs> so it's the month of October, right? That means it's Halloween. We have a Vivint system. Check out our custom doorbell for this month. That's spooky. Hey, the dogs don't even bark. That's good. So Stella, I'm not gonna lie. I pretty much got everything done that I wanted to do today. And it's only like one o'clock. Wow. Hey Stella, you look mighty comfy there. Like you have a sweater, a blanket, a pillow, another blanket, and another sweater. Hey? Is that comfy? Is that comfy, Del? Did you get your boobs today? Boop. Well, I guess it's a nice enough day out, so I decided to rake the leaves. And look who's visiting. Aww. A little puppy play date. Mm-hmm. Now that I've got the yard work done, I've decided that it's time to vacuum the entire house. 
Yay! Man, what a great day. There's just something about vacuuming that I just like so much when it's just fresh in here, you know? Get rid of all that dust, dust control. Look at those new table legs. Beauty. Well, there you go, Jose. All the parts are shorted. Wow, you did a great job. Snot bricks, arches, slopes, tiles. That's a lot of pieces. Great work. Gosh, that looks good. Love that set and love the Simpsons house placed like this. It looks so good. I also just finished filming my intro for the four privet drive set that we're going to modularize. So that's sweet. I feel like I'm always transferring files and making videos. Oh, well, of course I am. Check this out. You can change the screen. Whoa, that one's got a polar bear on it. Isn't that cool? There's all the different screens. Oh, okay, that's the one I gotta go with. Perfect. Oh, nice. It's using my table as a tripod. <laughs> I love that. I'm not actually gonna keep it like that though. So we're digging this chicken tortilla soup from Costco in the Disney bowl. It's delicious. Now I've got to set up all our equipment for the members only live stream. So I guess during the stream, I'm going to start sorting some of these parts from Mike Scott. Thanks, man. Wow. That's awesome. Let's see if we can get box number one done during the stream. There we go. One and a half boxes down. Not bad. So one thing we have a lot of now is studs. And of course, studs can create art. And we have a lot of available wall space here in the Lego room. So we have to decide what art project we're going to do next. We have to do the Brixie art, which we have all the parts for, but maybe we have to do Mario or Star Wars. I don't know. I might have enough Star Wars already, but I'm thinking Mario. Let me know what art sets you think I should do by commenting below, because we got a lot of studs. We just got to order the Technic plates now. So yeah, pretty cool. So everybody, it is now 7 p.m. We started this morning at 5 a.m., so it's been 14 hours. We got a lot done today. I can't even recite it on the outro of this video, or during, during this outro. Yeah, it's been a long day, but we accomplished a lot, and I feel really good about it. Yeah, I can't wait to proceed with LEGO Room doings as we uh, move forward, right? Everybody, thank you so much for coming on by. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell.